Oh, hi again, everybody. Hello, hope you're all well. Hope you're all well. Now, uh, a little bit of background. Um, about a week or so ago, I was uh, out with a few of my friends, and uh, one, of, one of my friends got, he's uh, 12, I think, 12, 13 year old son. And we started getting, talking about um, what he's doing at school. And I asked him about his uh, what he's doing in technology. And he explained to me that he was uh, uh, writing games, um, doing simple um, configuration. But he used a piece of software called Scratch. Now, it's a modular sort of software, if you like. Um, and it's a simple way of teaching coding. So what I'll do... Um, what we'll do, we'll uh, have a look at loading Scratch onto the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so let's come down. Now if I go to Start Menu, Raspberry Preferences. Now in Preferences, we got Recommended Software. Click on that. Loads the package. go and comes up with our different uh, categories if we click on programming comes down comes up with all our IDEs okay integrated development environments if we come down we have the latest version of scratch scratch 3 this is the latest version now to download it we need to click the box. So click the box here and it turns blue. And then click apply. I've already installed it, but it will it will um, install the software and it will put it into your start menu. There's uh, another couple of other ways we can install it. Close that. Do you have Pi apps? We did uh, look at how to install Pi apps in a earlier video. So Pi apps again. Come to programming. We'll come down and there's Scratch Three. Click on it and it'll install it. Right, it's green because it knows I've already got it installed. Now there's one more way. We can install Scratch, open the terminal. Now, a good, good thing to do at this stage is um, upgrade your operating system. So, sudo for super user, yeah? apt dash get. We've done this before. Install space Scratch. Right, before that, sorry, I think we need to uh, sudo apt get upgrade, update, sorry, sudo apt get update, enter. You'll get the update, I've already done this, so... Uh, so it'll be quite quick and then our next one is sudo apt get upgrade enter and it'll upgrade the package right and then the next thing to do remember using our up arrows if i can get to it for some reason Let's see if I can find that last command. Right now I'll type it sudo apt dash get install scratch. Again, hit enter. 
I've already installed it. Right, I've already installed it. Pre press enter. Right, get rid of that and clear that. So that's three ways we can install Scratch on our um, Raspberry Pi. Now, the good thing about Scratch is that you don't need a Raspberry Pi. You can actually configure it on a computer. So let's have a look at this. You can see go to just uh, sort this out go to this website um, bear with me just want to make sure I'm on the right page. Go to this website and it's https colon forward slash forward slash scratch dot mit dot edu 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 edu. When you go to uh, the website, it'll ask you to sign up. So uh, sign up with your uh, email address it's free it's totally free right and then you come to this page once you signed it up oh you may get a ver verification email in your email and you come to this page all right so read this page um there's a few uh, little projects on there and then Click create. And it comes up with the IDE, integrated development environment, but it's GUI, a graphic user interface. And this is what you got. This is what you get. Right. Now, this is exactly the same as let me just come across this is exactly the same as um on the raspberry pi i'm going to be using the raspberry pi so what we need to do is open up scratch on our raspberry pi so i go to the start programming scratch three right takes a little while because there's a there's a lot of elements in this uh ide so it takes a little while to load let's just move it where you can see it and then once it's loading we'll just have a, a quick look um at the environment um i'm i've never used it before i've just had a quick look and so when we as we work through this we're going to be working through uh, through some um tutorials that i've got offline we'll work together slowly slowly we don't need to go fast so this is our ide integrated development environment and it's and it's in what we call a gui graphic user interface so let's have a look at the the different parts now if we look on the left this has got all our elements all our different elements so if i uh that's motion okay what's that tasks sound can't see it very well on this events etc etc right we'll work through it when we uh when we start configuring then we got um our characters this is where we can change colors it's, it's, it's pretty much the same as paint 
but we start off with um, a character and this character is scratch and they're what they call a I believe it's a sprint or a sprite sorry sprite and then on this tab we got our sounds all right let's go back here so as you can see this is our environment once we've done our configuration this is where it takes place remember on the, the python uh, thony this is at the bottom it shows you uh, what's going on or well, this is like the screen that shows us go what's going on here when we load an element or a picture this is where it loads and we click on it yeah and then we can move it around if we click off it if we click on another element then we can move that around so we can draw our pictures we can um, design our games and we go from there right so that is the interface we've got our files where we can you know our save as and loads our edit etc all right <coughs> so this excuse me so this is just a quick a quick overview of it um we get more in depth as we go through the videos we'll make a few see how we go see how we learn so that's a quick intro to scratch and that's what we'll be doing in the next few videos i'll still be doing python and the tech stuff but i thought because this is what our 11 12 year olds in our families are learning maybe we should learn it and we can sit down we don't have to have a pie now we can sit down on a computer and do some game design with our children and grandchildren anyway thanks very much uh please don't forget to like subscribe and if you've got any comments please comment and i'll answer them best i can bye bye